Hi everyone, I'm Heather from the Nocatee Welcome Center and it's Walkthrough Wednesday and I'm thrilled to be with my good friend Sam of Dosty Homes and we are in the beautiful community of Freedom Landing at Crosswater and everyone knows Freedom Landing is one of our hottest neighborhoods here in Nocatee, one of our newest neighborhoods and Sam's going to take us through this quick move in home ready for you now so thanks for coming out Sam and having us because I know you're always busy designing our houses for Dosty. Absolutely, it's always a pleasure when I get to walk you through one of our homes. Mm -hmm. This is our Swanee floor plan, which is actually one of our most popular floor plans. It is 2,900 square feet. It is four bedrooms and three full baths. It also has a home office and a comfort zone or secondary living area. Again, all in that 2,900 square feet. So right here, we've got our quaint little front porch that everybody likes that adds to the lifestyle here in Nocti. And then we've got our beautiful front door that's gonna enter into this home. We added glass in this door, but it's up high, so it creates a lot of privacy, wow. but still gives you some wonderful, wonderful look. It really does, and look at the ceiling. Yep. See, I'm trying to, high is the ceiling? So this is 12 to 13 feet in the middle of this foyer, so it gives you a grand entrance as you come through the front door. And here, I'm gonna shut this because this is important to see how big this space is. It really is grand, as Sam was saying and there's plenty of room to put a beautiful piece of furniture against the wall over here in this space. And then as we go in, let's keep going in, because I love that this front bedroom, this is something that really was important to Sam when he designed this house. So this is really a private wing on the front end of the home. So we've got a nice size bedroom, we've got a private bath, we can even add an extra door to really close this wing off if it needed to be a mother-in-law suite or a guest suite, we've got that ability. And see, I love that because that's something Sam does hear about is sometimes you do have that mother-in-law, father-in-law needing to live with you so they can have their own space. This is a great coat closet. It's really big. Always, I know, hard to see yep. on camera, but I'm really happy that you have this in the front. So again, here's that lovely private window. Oh, that's so nice. And you can see I'm six feet tall and you, I can barely see out that window. So you know guests aren't going to be able to look in, that's but it awesome. gives you that nice light filtering that. in through the front door. As we come down the gallery into the main living area, you're going to see the home office over here on the left with the double French doors. And we've even got a private little cubby here on the, on the right hand side where we can do some built-ins. We could build in a closet, but it's the perfect spot for our printers, bookshelves, all those fun things that can really create that office feel. Yes, and so home. many residents are working out of their homes. So this is a great space over here and very private. Now look at this kitchen, Sam, I love. And I love that y'all did white. So white is still the most popular color of cabinetry that we are doing. Yes. Uh, the L-shaped kitchen with the large island, we call it, it, is again that most popular layout. But we did the gourmet kitchen here, so we do have the oven and microwave with the separate gas burner cooktop. On Carling's left, we've got a nice walk-in pantry. And soft clothes, everybody. Sam showed me all this. Look, soft clothes cabinets soft closed drawers so no slamming in this house and also this is important to know you remember he just said l-shaped kitchen this is very easy the flow is amazing but also how wide so how far apart you put your island from your gas stove it's close enough but yet wide enough but you're not bumping into people if you're cooking on either side which i do like we actually separate those about 12 inches or a foot more than okay. is required by the building code See, I love that. That's important because so many people cook and then they're washing dishes on the other side. Now this to me, yep. around, here we go. This is one of the reasons, there's a few reasons, but one I would buy this house is this space in the front. Tell us about it. So this is our comfort zone. We like to include that secondary first floor living space. Some people choose to close these rooms off and make it more of a kid's playroom, first floor bonus room. But when we do these, we try to make them private enough that you can see how these windows only look out toward the rear. So where Carling standing is really where you're going to be sitting in this room, looking back at your TV wall, looking out at that nice preserve, and look how private this feels. Like. It really is, and this is something right when we walked in, when Sam was taking us through, I immediately said, this is such a wow factor. But I love, look at this Carling, actually, yep. what Sam and I are standing behind. But how cool is this little nook right here? So it's, you know, you're still with everybody, 
which I love, but complete privacy also from your neighbors. That's important to know. And as we go through this house, it's going to be some other things you're going to see that how private you are from your next door neighbors on either side. Okay, look at this. We have a huge, huge. break room. It's kind of got an octagonal feel, so we even did the octagonal step up in the middle with the fantastic ceiling fan, but plenty of wall space and a floor outlet. We always put a floor outlet Smart. in these great rooms just so people have the ease of furnishing these spaces. And in this home, we have the 12 foot wide sliding glass door that we've got open here to the outside. Wow. This large cover the nine that again is very private like Heather was referring to earlier. We try to design the homes where there's a living space on each side so that when you're sitting out here relaxing in the, na in the natural environment, mm -hmm. that you don't have your neighbor staring right into your porch. Room. Exactly. So we've got two rooms, an interior room for entertaining. Do not see your neighbors. You only see the magnificent preserve with that picture window. But now in this space, and this is something Dosti's known for. So Carly, if, as you walk yep. out to the grass, it would be great just to show how big the space is that Sam is standing in. Um, Sam, you're going to stay in that standing in? Here we go. Stand, I'll stand stay in the sun. I'll stay here. <laughs> but look how big this is. I mean, this is wow. really, really, really big. So tons of furniture, but I am not seeing my neighbors on either side. And also with these lots right here in Freedom Landing, these are deep lots. And I know I run all the time in our videos, but today I sadly, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot with my ankle. But I promise you, this lot is so deep that you can fence it in. Uh, Sam mentioned that you, but you yep. can't. You can fence see the fence over, over there that one of our neighbors has put in, so you can have that four foot tall black aluminum fencing throughout the uh, throughout the backyard. But you could but you do not football. block your preserve view. No. And yes, you can play football. That I mean, this is a <laughs> huge, huge, huge space. And if you do have uh, dogs, of course, they have plenty of room to run around, um, which is great. I want to remind people again with Freedom Landing, we're on the southern end of Nocatee. We are below our splash and spray water parks. And what's great right about this location and what residents are talking about is the paddle launch. The paddle launch opened up a few months ago, and that is an amazing area at the Intracoastal Waterway where residents can golf cart too, and they can kayak, canoe, paddleboard, they can fish down there. So again, this is a ideal location if you love the Intracoastal. So as Carly comes into the secondary bedroom wing, we've got two private large secondary bedrooms that share an oversized hall bath as well that are right off of what we like to call the family foyer. A lot of people call this the mudroom. We can call it the mudroom, but you can see it clearly has a secondary chandelier. This is where everybody enters the home. We all know that we come in from the garage. So why not give people a wonderful space to enter the home? And okay, right here, so right here, people love their cubbies. Yes. We've got, look at this. This wow. is almost six feet but look of at the wall. wall. I mean, I can't even can reach my arm. Like this is a huge space for cubbies. Okay, so get all that, but yep. Yeah. We're about to get a, an amazing wow factor in two seconds. Go show the other bedroom. All right, secondary bedroom number three. Okay, and Heather's so favorite room of the house. Oh, come on, come in my favorite space. Everyone knows I love the laundry room. You're in an amazing, beautiful laundry room, washer and dryer, sink, cabinets. But wait, guess what everyone? This is why you're gonna buy this house. Are you kidding me, wow. Sam? This space, y'all, look how big, look how big, look how big, why? Look at this. This That's is the huge. most amazing storage space I've ever seen in a quick move-in home anywhere <laughs> in Nocatee. I'm gonna be honest, Sam, this is some of, this is a little bit better than some of your uh, really high-end homes. They're gonna be jealous. <laughs> so this is a great space, it is right off the, garage so as you no. come in with all the things from the cost from costco or bj's yes. this is a great costco closet right here it's and for those that want to pre-sale we can actually convert that into a powder room i mean but the costco closet costco is, closet it is incredible though to have that kind of storage or if you have kids playing sports that's a great place where they can put their sporting equipment which is important also with this location i mentioned the power launch but what about crosswater park crosswater park is in within walking distance and that everyone opens up in the spring of 2020. It's gonna have a pool, dog parks, playground, green space. But I also wanna let everyone know as we walk into this magnificent bedroom, I'm gonna let Sam talk about in just a second. But Freedom Landing and the Crosswater neighborhoods have their own HOA park called the Schoolyard. 
And we've really been hearing from residents, it's actually a favorite dog park of theirs. They have a wonderful dog park and kids playground and some of the best play equipment that we've seen in Nocatee in a while. So y'all have that here in your own neighborhood. Okay, go ahead, Sam. <laughs> the master bedroom is wonderful. We see that same window package that we saw duplicated in the yes. comfort zone that gives yep. you that nice private look out into the rear yard, but also plenty of natural light coming into this space. Well, we've got 10 foot ceilings that step up to 11 foot. So you've got plenty of ceiling height in here, plenty of natural light and in its own private wing, as you guys saw, as we walked in off of the family room. And again, you're not seeing your neighbors at all. You're Just not seeing your neighbors at all. Her. Here we have the wonderful master bathroom, which we chose to do the giant shower that everybody is so fond of these days with the two shower heads, the large oversized vanity with the his and her sinks and the knee space. So if the bride of the home really wants a makeup counter, she's got it. I love that. And then the ceilings in here have to be also. Really they tall. are again, 10 to 11 feet. Yeah. We actually stepped that up and we're wired for a chandelier in here. If you wanted to dress this room up, That's you could exactly do that right. as well and really make this feel more elegant. And then right off of this huge bathroom, we've got our wonderful walk-in closet. And it wraps around both sides. sides. Yeah, it's great. So we truly have a his and what feels like a his and yeah. hers closet, even though it's only one walk-in closet. But it's completely separated, and I love the amount of space in there. And also, yep. again, with the height of the ceiling, you can really do a lot if you choose to get more built-ins in that space and customize it. You can with the 10-foot ceilings, absolutely. We even have a linen closet in here oh. as we come back out. Oh, I, thank you, Dosti. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Well, I want to remind people, we are with Dosti Homes and Sam, one of your amazing designers of this home and all your homes here in Nocatee. And one thing I've always been so impressed with, with Sam and his team at Dosti, is they really take each individual prospect to heart. They think about what you want. They are listening to people. And for example, with the home office and having that bigger storage space, but to me, the biggest thing is the privatization, how private these three rooms are in the back that I'm not seeing my neighbors on the left and the right. So I really love that you can come home in, at night and you have this great house. So Sam, again, tell us the square footage of this house. So again, just to recap, this is our Swanee floor plan. It is 2,914 square feet, four full bedrooms, three full bathrooms. We have a home office. And we have that comfort zone, that wonderful private space that we walked through earlier. I love it. I know somebody's going to buy this to basically today <laughs> after you watch the video. So I'm excited for you to become a member of our Nocatee family and the Dosti family. So thanks for watching Walkthrough Wednesday. Thanks, Bye. Guys. Bye. Bye.